we're having the family over for steak tonight. We're gonna have steak and baked potatoes and stuff. I'll show you that when it gets finished. Uh, we haven't even started it actually. Uh, but I just, I set the table in here. I like to use the dining room. Um, I like to use it once a month. I really like having a dining room. That's a bonus about having this house is we have a dining room. So, um, we eat it in the kitchen all the time. So I wanted to eat in here tonight and we're not using our fancy plates because the reason I didn't is because they're like these plates except they're cobalt blue and they're very, very old. Um, they're uh, antique plates. They're called Century by Salem. I did a whole video about them. Anyway, um, I, I just, I don't want to be using a steak knife on them and they would probably be fine, but I'm being overly cautious. So, um, I just got our Fiesta Ware plates and these are really old. Uh, these were actually seconds. So, which means that I got them at a discount price because they had like little flaws. Like this one, uh, this orange plate has this black mark and there's nothing wrong with it. The black mark's been on there for years, but, um, you know, we've used it without any trouble, but it was a flaw. And so somebody wasn't going to pay full price for that plate because of that. Now the other ones like this one, I don't see anything wrong with that at all, but it was still considered seconds. So anyway, and then, um, I got the little, um, uh, Mr. Tickle out over there for Gavin and a little Miss Princess out for Amelia. And so that's what we're going to use tonight. Uh, but I wanted to eat here in the dining room. We could have eaten in the kitchen. Uh, we've eaten in the kitchen, you know, many times when we've had cookouts and stuff. But since we're having steak, I figured we would use the dining room because it's a different, it's a different atmosphere and it's just nice. And these chairs are big and roomy. And uh, so anyway, once we start cooking, I'll show it to you. So we washed the potatoes off. We're gonna have baked potatoes. If you all are wondering, no, I do not eat baked potato. I don't like mashed potato or baked potato. Now, I do like potato skins because they don't have much potato in them. You like and, fried potatoes? And they have bacon and cheese and onion. You like fried potatoes? I do, I like fried potatoes and potato fried chips fries. and french fries. I just don't like them baked or mashed. So these are for the kids and Kevin and um, Ashley and Andrew and Christina. And then Kevin is uh, putting my salad together. He's just started. Uh, I bought a head of lettuce and I bought a tomato and a cucumber and some radishes and an onion. Um, so we'll put that in the, that big um, Pyrex bowl. And then I will probably, that'll make a huge salad. So I'll probably half it um, and I'll put half of it in a, um, in like a freezer bag or maybe in another bowl to store in the refrigerator for me to have tomorrow or the next day for lunch or something because we won't eat it all in this meal because I know Kevin's not gonna eat any salad. He makes it, but he doesn't eat it. He's not gonna eat salad. Ashley won't eat salad. Uh, no one will eat salad except for me, Christina, um, and Gavin and Amelia. Nobody else will eat the salad. So, the um, people. yeah, the weird people eat the salad. Well, Kevin likes, you've said before, like you likes, he likes salad, but he would rather fill up on meat and potatoes and bread than yeah. salad. That's just, that. that's just the truth. So, but he does the hard work and he, um, cuts all this up for me. Although I'm going to, uh, I'll peel that cucumber for you. So we bought this Italian uh, loaf of bread. If you watched our haul from last week, uh, you'll see this in the haul, but we just cut it in half. And then this is from Kroger from the bakery and it is a uh, garlic spread. And so Ashley put a ton um, on um, the bread and we're gonna bake it. And then Kevin's over here with the steaks. These are ribeye steaks. And he just has them on this pan to take them outside. Yeah, yeah it's Aww. very, very, it's like Fred Flintstone. <laughs> um, but you said it like uh, Tim the Tool Man. Yeah. Um, but uh, uh, he, he will take these and grill them. And then the baked potatoes uh, we have in the oven and they've been baking for a while. And then the salad I have in the refrigerator. So um, this is what we're doing now. And I'll show it to you when he brings it inside. 
So we have um, some of the, of the bread with the garlic spread, and we have some corn and salad and baked potatoes. And Kevin is outside um, making the steak right now. He's cooking the steak, and Ashley is getting a potato for the kids ready. And she took the skin away because um, they're, not gonna they're not gonna eat the skin. So she's gonna put some butter on here for them. And Amelia likes corn, didn't you say? She mean, it does like corn. And she likes salad, so. And here are the steaks. So this is my plate, the steak, and I got a piece of bread, and I got a lot of salad. And guess what I got? A lot of potatoes. Ashley got a lot of potato. This is the first time. Amelia just opened a Polly Pocket, and let's see, Miss Ashley's helping her. I'm trying to close her book. You know, one of us, Jack Skellington, right? It's oh, Amelia, is that her little house? This one. Yeah. Where can you, well, that's the the Where's the person at? Where's oh, the... She's in the rocket ship. Oh, she's in there. She's a, Oh, there she is. That's very cute. Amelia, you like that? Yeah. Okay, Gavin has... I know who that oh, guy is. I was wrong. It felt like a chair, though. Ashley wants yeah. him. Ashley doesn't no, I don't have him. Hey, do you have some scissors I mean, so I can open I this? I'll put him in. He'll go to work with me. Take him to work, honey. All right, I'm not even going to open his bag. I'm taking him to work. Okay, Gavin, what is That's it? So where's the other thing? I don't know what this one is. What's that? Um, I got it. On this thing. Oh, nice. I got it. I hope I get the one I want. I got that, Gav. I'm Which one are you working for? Yep. Yeah. There's you go. There's a little bit there. You're saying? That is you're cute. Saying? What did you get? Oh, I was just saying that's really Oh, cool. he's cool. Look. I know who these guys are. That's a you can't. Hey, let's see. Let's see real no. quick. You can never he's die underwater. Hey, you can never die underwater if you have that helmet on. He's swimming underwater. And if he, hey, can I tell you something about this? Yeah, tell me. You get a trophy when you're really good at something. Whenever they wear that helmet, they can breathe in the water, yeah. and they can, they don't even have to go back up. They get to swim underwater forever. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's not a... Today, Kevin and I are open, opening a box from Pensy's Spices. Um, you all may recall we did, um, uh, we did some reviews of Pensy Spices. Michael sent us these. They are a Wisconsin company, and, um, so uh, he sent us a bunch of spices, and so this time uh, he, he, he sent us even more. So I have no idea what's in here. We have not looked. Penzi Spices, this is a bumper sticker. They sent us one last time as well, I'm pretty sure. And they usually send you a free sample. So this uh, looks like they sent two samples well, this time. I'm trying to what the paper clip is for. I know, there's a paper clip on these, I don't know. This Maybe that was on the bumper sticker one time. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I guess it could have been connected like yeah, this or something. Okay, this is Penzi's Cracked Rosemary. And this is Tuscan Sunset. And when we do the reviews, we'll actually talk about each one. We'll tell you uh, what they go well with because um, they tell you on the backs of the packages what they pair well with. And so we will go into a lot more detail when we do the review. This is like a poster. Yeah, a poster. Well, this is the um, anniversary of pie. Well, of pie um, spice is what. Uh, well, the moon landing. Is Share pie, I'm... spread love, give science a chance. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Gavin might want to put that in his bedroom. Okay. They're all wrapped really well. Yep, so, so there's going to be a lot of unwrapping in this video. Oh, yeah. Oh, and look, they say, Penzi's Pie Space. Look. Spice. Pie Space. Pie, I mean, sorry. Space. <laughs> space. I'm looking at the moon man thinking does, of space. Well, it does look, it's, and it's space themed, so. Yes, it's spice. Sorry. <laughs> pie Space. <laughs> sorry. That's me. Um, pie Spice. And so, I wonder, I mean, is this actually... Five points. Yeah. What did you say? Uh, I'm looking. 
I'm look. I'm trying to see what's. Oh, okay. Yes, I think it is because it has cinnamon, vanilla, sugar, ginger, nutmeg, anise seed, and clove. So yeah, it is. It is. Uh, actually it is actually five stars. And this is the same thing. So these are both literally the same thing. That's what I was wondering. This is. Raspberry Enlightenment. Oh, this is like a, a jam. Yeah. Raspberry sugar. Yeah, this that's exactly what this is. It says it's perfect for any dish that still needs a little something. So it wouldn't be something you put on bread. It's saying to put it on pasta and or veggies. Hmm. Now see, when I saw this, I immediately thought of toast. Yeah, I don't think it's a jam. I think it's a like a like a sauce. Oh well, I've never had right. I've never had. I mean, that's what I'm. That's right. What I, I just have not had raspberry in a sauce like that. Make sure there's nothing. Else. This is called Penzi's Justice, and. You have to you have to actually read what's in each one of these uh, when they have names like this because you just don't know. You're like, okay, like, no what is, what is justice? <laughs> you you just don't know. So this is the Penzi's justice. Like I said during the video, we'll talk about them more and tell you what's in them. Yeah. This is Bavarian seasoning. This one is French four spice. This one is sunny Paris seasoning. This is Sunny Spain Seasoning. Garden Salad Seasoning. That could be good on a, maybe a, like a, the nature seasoning. Right. Hmm. Yeah, it has Romano cheese. And this one is Chip and Dip Seasoning. Hmm. And this says use two tablespoons per cup of sour, sour cream. cream. Yeah. So you're making a dressing. So you add that. A dip, you're I'm making sorry. a dip. Okay, it, but it tells you on each one of these labels, it tells you exactly what to do with it. Like the garden salad says sprinkle on salad, pasta, veggies, or baked chicken. So, I mean, it's not like Michael gave us all these spices and we have no clue what to do with them. It actually tells us what to, um, what to use them on. So, this was awesome. Oh, a little pin. Oh, that's it says kind. Yeah, it's a pin. That's very nice. So thank you very, very much, Michael. We really appreciate this um, a lot. So there's going to be, I don't know how I'm going to divide these out, um, but there will be a lot of videos. It's going to be a while, I will warn you, because um, I have a lot of videos just because where we bought things while we were on vacation and then we've we've bought a lot in the grocery hauls uh, to review and it's just built up over a period of time so it will be a while just know that i mean it could be a month from now that you will see these but uh, we'll review them for you kevin and i are on our way to kroger um and the stuff that we're getting at kroger honestly i could get at walmart and it's probably cheaper but walmart just more and more it just i'm displeased with the way that they're running it and i understand that they have to do it and i, I talked about this last week in the vlog about how they used to be door greeters and now they're security people and they really are they're they're uh, they they check your um receipts and all that and if you have something loose i understand but then sometimes they want to check everybody's whether it's bagged or not i just i don't know it just doesn't um it when you walk in the door it doesn't make you think of happiness and you're not happy to be there like when i go in target i am happy to be there very happy it's bright it's clean i'm just happy to be there walmart it's like oh gosh why have i walked through the doors you know that's what i think when i go in walmart now. so anyway we're getting bread and milk and stuff like that um, but we're going to Kroger uh, but that's not what I got on here to tell you um, I wanted to tell you that the in case you all have watched the first season of the center on Netflix the second season has come out and honestly you don't have to have watched the first season to watch the second season it is 
it's the type of show it's like if you've ever watched Broadchurch which if you haven't you really 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 need to because Broadchurch is a brilliant show um, but it's it's one of those shows where something happens during the first episode and they spend the entire season working on the case trying to figure out um, what's going on so it's not like a well, you know, like when CSI used to come on TV, they used to do a different uh, case every single night, which wasn't realistic, and they really had to leave out a lot of stuff. This is is more realistic because they're finding out little um, things here and there throughout. It's eight episodes, so I do recommend if you if you uh, have time to watch it. I do recommend you watch the first season, though, because it was a great story. I'm thinking the main person in that one was Jessica Biel. Um, but like Broadchurch has the same uh, police throughout the whole thing, this one this one has the, the same pol uh, uh, investigator in both seasons. That's what they have in common. But it is an excellent show. It's an adult show. It's not something that you want to watch when your kids are up or when they're in the room or anything like that. It's adults only. And it's kind of, it's kind of creepy. And Ashley loves it. Um, she's been watching it too. Um, she watches it on in her time and I watch it in my time because like today, I finished it today. I binged, I started it yesterday and I watched five episodes yesterday and then watch the last three today just because they'll leave you on this huge cliffhanger and even if you were ready even if you were like well i'm gonna get up as soon as this is over and i'm gonna go be productive then they leave you on a cliffhanger and you're like oh well i have to watch the next episode now i can't possibly um not find out what you know what she saw or what he did or whatever so anyway if you've watched it, you'll know what I mean. And if you haven't, then I highly recommend it. So, we're almost at Kroger now. It is hot, hot, hot 86. again. 86. So, not as hot as some of you have it. I know. It's not as hot here as like it is in Texas. Because they get like 100 degrees. Um, it's a dry I, I, no, that's errors. I don't even know how you get home from the grocery store with ice cream. How do you buy ice cream in Texas without having to pull it, put it in a cooler? Yeah, you would have to put it in a cooler. I, don't, I just don't see how you would make it uh, home without it melting all over the place. If you watched the vlog last week, then you uh, might have caught the conversation where Kevin and I were talking about Walmart having uh, security people at the door and then... Uh, Kroger has started putting um, like security tags on the meat like so uh, the, it they'll go off at the door on, on meat products. Well, I see today, I follow the, uh, the Daily Mail. This is in the United Kingdom. And it says, two women are caught using Muslim garments to steal food in Asda before exposing their underwear when challenged by staff. So... There, there's a video here, and you can play the video. But they're showing that there's the she shoplifted her items. Look at all that stuff that she shoplifted. Twenty or so items from these two women, and they were putting those under their gowns. I just, I can't even imagine. And that's okay. Then you get an ad, but that's when she lifted her. You know, I mean, who, who cares at this point? I guess she was trying to uh, put the attention on her underwear and, and take the attention off what she had just done. She should be ashamed of herself that um, she was trying to steal. I mean, I just think that's horrible. I cannot imagine doing that. 20 items in their robes after snatching them from shelves. If we had stronger laws... If we had laws like other countries do when stuff like this happened, if we would have real punishments, people would be too afraid to do this. It wouldn't happen. They've done something new on our roads here. They have put the, um, the number of the interstate on the road, and Kevin said we're, we're going to be we're getting there but they put the number on the road and they they never did that before and we like it that they've done that because then you know exactly which lane to get in so especially up here it's kind of confusing anymore 
yeah um, so there there's a lot of uh, a lot of traffic up here so I'll see I'm gonna see if I can get it and they're slowing down so yeah, that's literally right here oh right here yeah see so then you know exactly which road to get in I, I just think that's really cool favorite place <laughs> not Walmart although it wasn't that bad I have to admit there wasn't bad um, so anyway we just love Walmart because sometimes you know you just have to go there we don't live in a town that has a Target or a Meyer or a Fresh Market or Whole Foods or any of those stores we don't have um, a town with one of those so we only have uh, really uh, as far as big as far as groceries we have Kroger and Walmart so if you need anything that's non grocery you have to go to Walmart unless you want to go to the next town over and sometimes that's just not practical you know so anyway we just left Walmart I want to uh, th uh, thank Alicia for the coupons um, and she also sent me some box tops which but she didn't know when she mailed them that I'm no longer uh, collecting box tops anymore I just said that in last week's uh, vlog but thank you for thinking of me if you know somebody else that could use them though that you know I'm I'm sorry I just um, Ashley school it does not collect box tops this year so um, but thank you very much for the coupons I appreciate those um, I want to tell you all about an Instagram account a new Instagram account it's new to me I don't know how new it is it's called passenger shaming and I just found it and I'm sure it's been out there for a while and I told Kevin about it and Kevin liked it so much that he even uh, subscribed to this Instagram it's channel. Funny. It is very funny. It's awful, but it's funny. Yes. If you like to follow the people of Walmart, which I don't, but Kevin does, and Kevin always shows me when there's something, like when a woman is at Walmart wearing a pair of flesh-colored pants, and it looks like she's wearing but no naked. pants, yeah. He'll show me these pictures of these people that it's like, I can't believe they went out that way. Um, or the t-shirts that some of these people wear. Yeah, with the profanity. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Um, I don't think they ought to let them in there with stuff like that on there. And I mean, I mean, you're talking about some graphic stuff. And if you have little kids, you know, you can only shelter them so much, though, I guess. Um, but if you follow people of Walmart, then you would love passenger shaming on Instagram. It is people, the things that they're doing in airplanes. For example, taking your shoes and socks off and putting your feet up on the chair. Yeah, between the seats of the people in front of you. Yeah. It's like, hello. Um, people uh, um, uh, touching the screen, the TV screen with their toes and people laying on the floor um, to go to sleep. Uh, people with the hair, people with long hair, putting their hair over the seat behind them so somebody else has all this hair in front of them as they're sitting there. The it, kid jumping down on the tray, the, the tray table. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you have to see it because people it's are hilarious. the most inconsiderate. It is amazing how inconsiderate people really are. So one kid, it looked like they had peed their pants. So the mom was holding the the underwear up to the vent so you know that smelled really good you know and then somebody had fish um it, you need to follow this account so i want to tell you that and then the last thing i want to make sure to tell you about was you know kevin and i um we finished watching the golden girls well if you go on youtube many of you might not have even known they did a show they did a show called golden palace and the only one that is not on Golden Palace was B. Arthur because 
a lot of um, some of you might not know the Golden Girls ended because B. Arthur didn't want to do it anymore. So they did a, a one season of Golden Palace. You can search for it on YouTube and watch all the episodes on YouTube. I've only watched uh, the first two, uh, but I like it fine. I think it's cute. I think it's funny, and it introduces you to some new characters. Cheech is that Cheech, what? Yeah. Um. Jesus. And then the guy that was in uh, what's he in uh, Iron the Iron Man, uh, he yeah. plays a war war, war machine, machine, and he's in there too. Really, really good. So if you didn't know, it's called Golden Palace, and the full episodes are on there, and you don't have to watch commercials or anything. I broke out the Halloween uh, cups, coffee cups, because. Um, I don't feel like I used them a ton last year, so I want to make sure that I use them this year. And I absolutely, I think this is my favorite um, Halloween cup. I'm still using the uh, milk chocolate peanut butter Harry and David Moose Munch coffee. the vlog here for the week um there is one more show i have to tell you about earlier i told you about uh, the show the center on netflix i have a documentary to tell you about i went into this documentary not knowing that it was political at all it um uh, but it's it turns out not only does it deal with americans but it also deals with um the United Kingdom and uh, Brexit. So it's called The Great Hack and it goes through and talks about how they use um, uh, your Facebook and your Facebook information without you knowing it to um, coerce your vote. Uh, into voting for certain people and that I thought that that only happened in the United States with the last election but it also happened with Brexit as well and this isn't just one person's opinion uh, this is actually um, footage from courts um, it, it was a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff it was very, very informative. It was very interesting. And, um, you know, a lot of people post, well, first of all, I, I don't see any political posts at all. Um, I was into politics like, like I was really gung-ho about it years ago. And I've really, because I've seen the nastiness, I took a step back. And on my Facebook page, anyone that that's all they ever talk about is politics, I have them hidden. So I don't see any of that, excuse me. Um, I don't see any political stuff on Facebook. But there are political posts um, that uh, certain groups, uh, uh, they, they forward it, they share it, all that stuff. It'll be interesting if you watch this show. For you to find out where these are coming from and because uh, yeah I'm not gonna give it away but it's called the great hack and it's only like an hour and a half um, like I said it's very very political but I think it is well worth your time and when you start watching it I hope that you will watch it to the very very end and hear everything that they have to say I just feel like I feel like it, it is a good use of your time. So uh, anyway, take that uh, from that what you will. Um, and if you've already watched it and you, you want to talk about it, you can. Um, not uh, There are some people that I never see on Facebook at all just because I have, like I said, I hid people that only po post politics. I also have people hidden who only post stuff from um, the animal shelters. <laughs> and that might sound horrible, but it's my Facebook page and I can have on there what I want. Just I get to choose, you get to choose. So if you love seeing sad 
and I'm all sitting behind cages. If you enjoy seeing pictures of that stuff, then you go for it because that's your Facebook page. So I don't like seeing stuff like that. So once I hid what uh, I hid all the, uh, you can hide the person or you can hide like this animal shelter, this at like Clark County has an animal shelter and Fayette County has an animal shelter. You have all these animal shelters. You can hide posts from those specific places. So once I hid posts from those specific places, there are some people that I never ever see on Facebook at all because that's all they post. Frankly, I think it's depressing to, you know, and, and if you want an animal, if you're looking for an animal, then that's a great route to go is, is uh, the animal shelter and to look for, for posts from animal shelters on Facebook. That's a great way to go. But since I'm not looking for an animal, I don't want to be sad and I don't want to see the animals uh, in these cages. I don't want to see that because it's sad. So... Um, anyway, I ju it's just funny. You can fine tune your Facebook and you can see exactly what you want to see and get rid of what you, you don't. And um, it's funny. What's funny about me is I'm the exactly the opposite of probably most people because they, they put ads on Facebook and they try to uh target you and get you to go to their company and buy stuff from their company through these ads on facebook so for example um if a, if a if a uh, ad popped up for bath and body works well i would get rid of that ad and you can get rid of it and you give them a reason why like it's irrelevant or something like that and they will and they'll say thank you we won't show you any ads like this again so most people would get rid of the ads of things that they weren't interested in, that that like if if you are getting ads for car parts you don't want to see ads for car parts you want to see ads for bed uh, uh bath and body works or something like that i'm exactly the opposite i don't want to be tempted to buy anything so I get rid of all the stuff I would like to order from. So if a, uh, if a Bath and Body Works ad pops up, I will get rid of that and say it's irrelevant to me. I, I don't want to see it because I don't want to be tempted or Pier 1 or any of those places. And I'll keep, I'll let them keep all the ads on there of stuff that I'm never going to be tempted to buy anyway. Uh, car parts that's the example i gave no i've never seen an ad for car parts but that's just what popped into my head so i get a bunch of ads that i can just keep on scrolling through and they don't even tempt me at all i'm not the least bit tempted to click on them because it's stuff that i'm not interested in i got rid of all the stuff on there that i would actually be tempted to click on their website and then i'm sucked into this black hole you know, like if I went to the, the Shop Disney online, if I go there, then I pick out all this stuff and I either spend the money and order it or I pick out all this stuff and nine times out of ten, I put it in my cart and then I just exit the page and never go back. And it's like, well, there's an hour I can't get back. So, so for me, it's best to get rid of anything tempting like that. So I know I'm probably totally weird, um, but that's just how it is. Um, and yesterday I spent, I was getting a couple of emails still. Um, one of them is Bath and Body Works. Um, I was getting them every single day because, or sometimes twice a day because they'll tell you we have something exciting for tomorrow watch your email for or your inbox for tomorrow so they're sending you that email and then they're usually sending you something saying wallflowers are on sale so um i did exactly what i just told you about i went to their website i spent probably 45 minutes picking out stuff and then i thought do I really want to spend this much money on candles that I'm just going to burn? Um, because um, 
Bobby Hula Mama, and I, uh, she had mentioned that she found fireworks to be a waste of money because fireworks, you're, li you're literally burning your money. I said, I told her, I completely agree. And I said, that's no different than candles. What are you doing with a candle? You're spending the money and you're literally, you might as well have set that, uh, however much $13 whatever on fire because you are uh, burning it in the way I burn them they don't last very long at all I can burn through a candle in no time because I'm here all day long and I love the smell of them and uh, so anyway I got online I was gonna order a bunch of stuff and I thought no I don't need to do this so I exited out of there and I thought you know what the reason I clicked on that is because I'm seeing those emails every day and it's tempting It's tempting to me every single day. Why do that to yourself? Why, why torture yourself with that? So, um, I, and I'm not saying I'm not going to go in Bath & Body. Um, I'm not saying I won't end up buying anything. I'm not saying I won't end up buying a candle. But I, at least I don't, I'm not tempted, at least it's not coming into my head every day when I open up my email, you know? Um, so, anyway, I don't know how I got onto this. Uh, you know me, I will rattle I will rattle on and on and on all day. I need to end this video. I don't know how much footage I got this week. I feel like not very much at all. Um, not very much at all, but there are some, there's a Q&A series that I did with Andrew, and you'll have seen that video right before this one, you'll have seen part one, and I think it's, there's four parts to that, and, um, he watched the video that, um, yeah, there's four parts, so there'll be one every day, Monday through Thursday this week, um, he saw the Q&A that Kevin and I did together, and he said, that's really cool. And I said, well, you know, people love you, and people would love to hear from you. And um, he said, well, let's do it. So, um, you know, we sit down and we did the Q&A together, and that was really fun. It was very, very cool. So I hope you all enjoy that. And that's something, you know, that's that's just a little a little bit different uh, video that I can put in there so that when these vlogs aren't very long, um, I know you all, some of you really enjoy the vlogs, um, it, it, you can see something else. Um, and thank you to everyone who watched the vacation videos. Um, you know, it may not have been your type of vacation. We might have not done things that you would have done. But if you ever visit the United Kingdom, then you can do exactly the things that you want to do and that you're passionate about and you can make your all your dreams come true. And I hope that happens for a lot of you. And for those of you that, that live there and, you know, you love visiting certain areas, I hope you get to visit those areas. I hope you, you make that um, a reality for yourselves that, you know, I hope you, you make yourself happy and you do exactly what you want to do. I know that Kevin and I, we did exactly what we wanted to do on that trip. And if to us, it was a great trip. We are still watching Big Brother and uh, we are enjoying it. The people who I didn't like at the beginning of the show, I still don't like now. And, um, you know, the, the, it, they have, uh, their true colors have come out more and more in the house and that's usually the way it goes. Um, we found out that the show Divorce, I don't know if I've ever talked about Divorce on here. I'm sure there's many shows that we watch that I've never talked about. Um, we watch a show called Divorce, and it has Sarah Jessica Parker and Molly Shannon. It's a really good show. Um, it just got canceled. So, if, um, yeah, if you watch that, it's a sad day. Because they kind of left you, they left you, there was some, there was some closure in a way. But then there were still doors that were open. And so, I'm just sad that it's over because, um... I just, I really like her. I, I think uh, she's a great actress. Um, they were all good, though. They, this was a very, very good cast. Um, 
and uh, it, it was just it was just a neat little show. It was one of those neat little half hour shows to watch. Anyway, uh, that's been canceled, so we won't be watching that anymore. We'll have to make it up with something else. Uh, I had said last week that we were going to start MASH. We have not started watching MASH as of yet because we are working our way through uh, some movies right now. So any time that we get, we are watching a movie. We've, we've watched a movie, I think, every night this week. One day we even watched um, two movies. And uh, so we're just, we're trying to m make our way through through some of these. So anyway, I will quit talking your ear off. I'm sure you're tired of me by now. <laughs> and I will see you next week.